All right, getting ready to do a screen replacement for my niece here. Uh, badly shattered screen, you can tell. Good thing about the uh, Amazon Fire tablet, this is the Amazon Fire tablet, by the way, is you can actually replace just the glass. So it makes it a cheaper repair. Um, this also had some liquid damage. So just to be on the safe side, I am replacing the battery. So I did get a replacement battery. And um, so I'm hoping this goes well. This is for the Fire uh, tablet, um, seven, gener uh, seven inch um, 2019 uh, edition. Man, it's hard to talk, sorry. 2019 edition and so I want to see what I can do about that and then get it uh, all put together and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, I got it um, all taken apart now. Well, the back off anyways. This thing was a pain in the butt. It's got clips that clip in here um, to basically hold it together. But this is where the digitizer is and I still have to take the front display off. So... Um, I'm gonna take this battery out real quick and then we'll put the new one in and uh, we'll go from there, but there's your, you can tell this is a new one opposed to the old one, so take this out real quick and then I'll go from there about the screen. All right, I got the old battery out. Um, here's the new one I'm getting ready to put in. Uh, this thing was adhered down really well. Um, I had to use this card. Honestly, I should have used my adhesive remover to uh, remove this battery, but um, wasn't thinking. Uh, this is a smaller capacity than this one is, but this will last longer because this one is older. And it also is water damage. So yeah, if this battery was discharged before I did this, uh, if you're going to remove your battery, make sure you discharge it or it could catch fire. So this was completely dead. So don't do what I did and use an adhesive remover or something to remove that adhesive. So I'm getting ready to install it and test it and I'll be right back. All right, all right, got the new battery in and it's firing up, heh, <laughs> fire. Anyways, it's up and uh, we'll go from there. We'll put that new screen in and she'll be done. But one of the quickest repairs I've done in a minute. Uh, it is difficult getting this back case off, like I said, but not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, but yeah, oh, 51%, so, hey. Okay, I got the glass off. That was like a pain in the neck. Oh, I forgot about digitizers breaking like that, but I'm gonna clean the glass, the glass. I'm gonna clean up all the re glass residue off of this, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm gonna clean off the residual he adhesive and then clean the screen up before I put the digitizer down. Um, so the digitizer is what lets you put your touch input for those of you that don't know. So um, get this old adhesive off and then clean the glass up and it should be good. Hopefully anyways. Um, so let's see what I can do. All right, and here's the finished product. It looks better. There's something underneath here I gotta get out because I have to actually get to a new display adhesive since for some reason this glass didn't come with one, but it's all right. It's now the moment of truth. Does it turn on and still work? It still does. Let's see if the touch works. But I got the back and stuff on, as you can see. Now, right now, waiting on it to turn on. But once I get that display adhesive, it'll be basically almost brand new. It's got a few scuff marks, but you know, it's better than it being thrown away. Um, yeah, you could buy a new one, but it's better to have one fixed if you can. And let's see here. It looks like it's unlocking. Yep, touch is working. It is starting and it's going into straight into kids mode as it should. Cause this is a uh, for my niece. Yep, looks like everything's touch. Touch is working. Long gestures are working, and looks like one, two, three. Yep, all that's working. Looks like we're good to go. So um, I also got her a nice little tablet case to put it all in. Um, it's kind of neat. Stands up. 
like this. So, yeah, all in all, I think it turned out nice.